Thanks for being here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to talk to you now. There's some breaking news this afternoon. Uh, this just happened, uh, literally before we came on air. Uh, Michael Flynn, President Trump's former national security advisor, announced today that he's willing to testify to the FBI on the Russian ex investigation in exchange for immunity which is big news. When she heard about this, Ivanka Trump picked up her box of belongings and started slowly backing out of the White House. <laughs> now, we don't know the scope of the story yet, but it's not coming from Rachel Maddow, so it could be important and real. <laughs> Uh, now, not only, <laughs> not only is Flynn willing to uh, talk for immunity, he's also coming out with a new book, uh, The Art of the Squeal. <laughs> but this, uh, this news just tops off what's been a bad week for Trump, because a Gallup poll has just been released that shows that Donald Trump's approval rating has fallen to a historic first-year low of 35%. Or, as Kellyanne Conway calls it, just one more example of Trump beating Obama. <laughs> Now, this isn't the worst approval rating ever. President Richard Nixon once had an approval rating of 24%, and Donald Trump, you might be interested to know what Nixon did to get that rating back up. He quit. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> now, the thing is, Trump must be very worried about this low approval rating because Steve Bannon told him that if it drops below 35%, then he doesn't get to drive the vroom vroom truck like a big boy. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, yesterday, uh, Donald Trump actually spoke to a woman's empowerment panel. <laughs> Just take a pause to take that in. Uh, no, he really did. He spoke to a woman's empowerment panel. His opening remarks were, shush, babe, a man's talking. Uh, <laughs> He was actually very complimentary to these women during the event. In fact, he praised the panel by saying that it had a lot of fourth wife potential. Um, you know these are jokes, right? It's not... <laughs> he didn't actually say that. <laughs> Saw a woman going, I can't believe he would say that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> In other Trump administration news, an office within the Department of Energy has been told not to use the phrase climate change anymore. So they did it, guys. They fixed it. No more climate change. <laughs> Woo! Um, now, here's the terms they say you should use to talk about the environment. Instead of climate change, you have to say endless summer. <laughs> Instead of tornado, we're going to call it fun time twisty wind. <laughs> And earthquakes will now be referred to as dirt twerking. <laughs> Which I prefer. I prefer it. Did you know there was a dirt twerk last night? I didn't feel it. Really? Uh, in other news, now this is big. Domino's Pizza has announced that they will start using robots to deliver pizza in Europe. Right? And we've got a look at the robot right here. <laughs> robots, I think, you know, C-3PO. That just looks like a beer cooler on a skateboard. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I like this idea. Like, you mean now I have to deal with a pizza delivery robot judging me? <laughs> Which they will. They'll be like, here's your pizza. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> um, finally... <laughs> finally... Finally, we had to show you this story. A woman in Japan is making headlines for becoming Japan's oldest DJ at the age of 82. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's great, isn't it? 82. You know she's old because when she drops the beat, she needs some assistance picking it back up. Um, <laughs> um, but before you pass judgment, this 82-year-old DJ really lays it down. She actually played a pretty wild show the other night, and, we're, and we've just got the video of it right here. Check it out. 